this is Wendy Means, and I'm going to show you how to paint this sweet bunny today. So I have my bunny drawn here. So look at my, I have another YouTube video that shows you how to draw the bunny. And I'm going to start with the background. So I have some like dark blue, green, white, and like a turquoisey color on my palette. So just use whatever color you want for your background. Um, yeah, just use what you have in the house. I'm going to put water on my brush. And then I'm going to mix some sort of lighter blues and greens. There's a green. Kind of thinking of blues and greens, kind of like sky and uh, grass maybe. But I don't want to make the background too complicated because I really want the bunny to stand out. I think I'm going to start with that green and see what happens. So when I go near the bunny, I'm just going to be careful. And I'm just going to do some kind of marks. Maybe even make it look like grass. I like this green color. I might just use this for the whole background because I kind of like it. Now I'm going to have to go over those eyelashes, but I'll get them. They will come back. Again. Yeah, I'm doing kind of like a texture, so I'm using this side of my brush to get a little bit more interest. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep using that green because I really like it. So I'm just mixing sort of a lighter color now. kind of liked it when it was a little darker there. Okay. So you want your background to not be too light because you want the bunny to stand out. And if the, I'm going to make my bunny white. So um, you want your background to um, allow the bunny to stand out. I'm just going to keep going around the bunny. And if I go onto the bunny, it's okay. So now I'm just going to add some little darker strokes so it kind of looks like grass. I'm just going to picture this bunny sitting in a meadow. So I've let my um, background dry a little bit and now I'm going to paint my bunny. So I'm going to do the shading first. So I like to put in, I'm going to use like a dark blue mixed with white as sort of my shading areas. But you could also make up a gray because this dark blue uh, you may not have. It's called Prussian blue. Um, so you can mix up a gray with a, a tiny little bit of black and a little bit of white. So the shaded areas are on the sides. So we're just going to put these in now and then we're going to put the white on top. But these will just make it a little bit darker. Just sort of smoosh out that line. So on the sides of the bunny and then under the chin, just think about where there would be a shadow like that. Don't worry, it will look sort of funny right now but once we get it all in it will look really good 
this will just be a dark layer underneath the white. Make it up a little bit more. So yeah, I just chose blue, but you can use gray or you can use brown as your shading, whatever kind of bunny you want. I'm gonna make a white bunny. You can also do a brown bunny, whatever you like. Okay, so these um, on the ears will be darker and then all around the bunny. I just think about sort of the edges of the bunny and then that will make it look more round. These cheeks for sure, just like that. And then underneath the mouth a little bit, like that. And then around those sort of puffy this there. Okay, with pink. Okay, so then I'm going to go right away into my white. Okay, so it's just plain white and I'm using sort of more of a pointy brush. And I'm just going to go for it. Let's do this body first and I'll show you how this shading works. So then you put that white on top and see how you're getting some nice shading there. And then I'm just kind of dabbing my brush. Okay, this part's going to be all white. Yeah, if you do the white right away, it will dab into that. Just be careful around those edges. I could always go back in. And then we're going to do lots of layers on top of that. So you won't see that line really. Yeah, I'm trying to do all my strokes in the same direction. So I'm going kind of like this, and then I'm just going to go for it everywhere with the white. I think I'm going to add a tiny bit of that light blue into my white now, and I'm just going to do a little bit of that and then I'll put the white on top again. Yeah, it's turning out to be a bit of a turquoise bunny, but I'm going to put another layer of white on top. And then that turquoise will just sort of show through underneath. See that? Even now, adding that white on top, you can see a big difference. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay, I'm going to make this part lighter here in the center. There we go. Let's do it on top of here too. Okay, so we got the start of a super cute bunny. It doesn't just have to be white. You can add all kinds of different colors. Okay, and then just do more. I'm keeping this inside part a little, little um, lighter. So I have my bunny now that's nice and white. I put an extra layer of white on top and I started painting my ears inside 
I'll just show you how I'm doing that. I'm using like a super light pink. So pink with lots of white in it. And if you don't have pink, you can use uh, red and white together. I'm just going inside of those ears. I'm just going to add some pink to the nose. So a little touch of pink and white to the nose. Just right there. Make a cute little pink nose. That's sweet. I like that. Also nice to carry that pink over to a different part of the bunny. Okay, and then I'm just gonna clean my brush really well. I'm actually gonna use a smaller brush for this and I'm just gonna use pure white. You might wanna clean your water before you do this so you don't have pink eyes. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna do the white on the inside of that eye. Make sure it's like pure, pure, pure white. Just gonna do a little bit more light in here. And sort of integrate that nose in a little bit. The bunny is completely dry, and I'm using a thin black Posca Partner to uh, outline. But you can use a Sharpie or whatever you have, and I'm just going to outline the entire bunny. But the most important thing is to make sure that the bunny is totally dry when you do this. Outlined the entire bunny. I filled in the black of these eyes. I added some dots here and some little whiskers. And then I'm just going to add some sweet little eyelashes. Like so. And then you can see here, I also brought this all the way around and did underneath the face and I I also added in a little bit more I made that nose a little darker pink because I thought it needed to be darker all right happy creating there's the bunny sweet sweet uh, don't forget to show me your creations and like this video and subscribe